Our next guest has an unusual perspective on the oil market. John Katsimatidis is the founder and head of the Red Apple Group. He's involved in a number of businesses, including United Refining, which processes 70,000 barrels of oil a day, as well as Gristiti's Foods, which is a leading supermarket chain here in New York City. And John, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. You have a very diversified business here, but all businesses being affected by oil prices right now. Oil affects all transportation, it affects food, it affects all products being delivered in the country. So um, it's, it, co it costs more money to deliver products. Tell me this, you had a meeting just recently, right, with the New York Fed, and you were discussing a little bit of, the, of what we were doing in the Middle East and how that was impacting the price of oil. What was the nature of that conversation? Well, we, we had a meeting with some of the economists uh, of the Fed, and um, uh, the nature of what I brought up that our government is advertising that the cost of the war was 300 million a week or 600 million the first week. That's not the real cost. Uh, after the dominoes started to fall with, with uh, Egypt and then Libya, oil went from $80 to $110. That's $30 a barrel. This country burns 20 million barrels a day. That's $600 million a day. So nobody talks about that. Right. We talk about the cost day, of war as being what's coming out yeah, of a budget. Of how many bombs right. you're setting off or how, much, uh, how many airplanes you're flying. But it costs the American public $4 billion a week in increased prices. And nobody talks about that. And that lasted from the, uh, what, the end of February when prices went up after uh, what happened in the Middle East. And we're supporting people who we don't even know to this day who we're supporting. Uh, we had Mubarak as our ally for 30 years, and we had uh, Libya was not a, a problem in our country. What but uh, you, this, this problem has cost us maybe $40 billion. What are you watching for in the next, say, few weeks, few months, over the next year as it relates to the price of oil? Is it what we're doing in the Middle East? Is it what's happening with inventories? I mean, there's quite a bit of volatility in the market. It seems that crude has come back down. We're below that $100 dollar level now and we've been there for a little while what forces a spike up again well I mean if there's a risk of war or if there's risk uh, uh, in the Middle East of uh, something happening in Saudi Arabia or something happening in uh, other parts of the Middle East then it'll force the price of oil even higher uh, the price of oil right now should be 75 to 85 dollars a barrel in that range uh, and it's like I said it's costing the American people four billion dollars a week more because of where it is. All right, John. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. We got to leave it there. But do appreciate you joining us. Next time, we're going to have to talk a little bit about grocery stores. We've seen a lot of supermarkets actually get hit very hard by gas prices as well. That was John Katz Matidis. He is founder, chairman, and CEO of the Red Apple Group. 